on its care and I'm going to review And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This is my first Agatha Christie book. I normally do not read mysteries in the summer, but because it was set on an island during the summer, I gave myself permission to read it. Um, it's not really that I need permission. It's just typically like the fall weather kind of makes me uh, more in the mood for mysteries. So um, I read this book because I had never read an Agatha Christie. I was kind of in the mood for a mystery. And then also I believe this was one of the books that was featured in the Great American Read. So I have been meaning to read some more of those books that were on that list. The basic plot of this story is um, it starts out with a poem, which I will share because it's a big part of the story and I actually kept referencing it uh, throughout my reading. But it starts off with 10 little soldier boys went out to dine. One choked himself, and then there were nine. Nine little soldier boys sat up very late. One overslept himself, and then there were eight. Eight little soldier boys traveling to Devon, in Devon. One said he'd stay there, and then there were seven. Seven little soldier boys chopping up sticks. One chopped himself in half, and then there were six. And it just keeps going until all of the little soldier boys are dead. Um, so basically these 10 people get letters from somebody that they don't really know and um, it tells them, the letters tell them to meet on this island. So they all travel to this island and when they get there their host and hostess are nowhere to be seen and um, they kind of are just there hanging out at dinner and um, yeah, basically one by one they start dying off and that's where the book really begins. So throughout the book I kept a list of um, all the characters and um, it was hard for me to keep track of them for some reason because they didn't use first names very often. They mostly used Mr. blah 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 and Miss blah 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 because it was written in like the 1940s. And so I kept my list of all 10 people and I would like mark off like when they died or like if I didn't think they were the killer, I would mark them off. And so it was just throughout the book trying to figure out who did it. And I ended up being wrong by the way. But um, this book kept me up way past my bedtime because I was having so much fun. It's pretty short and I just really wanted to figure out what would happen. The only thing I did not like about this book is the poem that it starts with um, that I talked about. That's actually not the original version. The first version of the poem was written in 1869 and then another version was written like a couple years later. And one of them talked about uh, black people slowly dying off and the other one talked about Native Americans. Um, however, both poems used not politically correct terms for either group of people. And then for the purposes of this book, um, I believe it was changed to Little Soldiers instead. Um, but that kind of made me uncomfortable that this whole book was based on like a really racist poem. And then um, throughout the book, there were also some racist comments made by characters. One of them was saying some anti-Semitic things and um, another was talking about how um, there were some natives that he just left like to die but I forgot what his quote was basically like it didn't it, they were used to dying it, it didn't matter they weren't as sensitive as white people were <laughs> so um I guess it brings up a question for me about reading like historic literature and classics do you just read it and appreciate it and use your lens from today to know like, oh, well, that's just how things were back then. People weren't um, looking at things from the same perspective we do today and just have that kind of critical lens when you read through that stuff. Or do you feel that books that have some racist themes should be completely cut off and like banned or not used or not read um, because people shouldn't be exposed to those ideas? I guess I kind of feel that you should just be really aware when you're reading them and teach like students or whatever if you're reading it with students just to be very critical about those ideas rather than not reading it at all. But I'm curious what you guys think about that and I'm also curious if you read other Agatha Christie books and what you thought and what were your favorites and I'm also curious what you're reading just right now in general. Anyway, 
write it in the comments. If you've never left a comment, please leave a comment. I want to hear from you and I'll see you guys later. Bye.